All right, so. Uh, get up and start the truck. As it is becoming a tradition that I do it every video. Hmm. Okay. So, ah, as it is becoming tradition that I start 90% of my videos off with starting that old girl. So, um, today's video, um, I don't know what it will be specifically, um, but I just wanted to ask something real quick. So I'm probably not going to put a CB in this because there will be no point. But I'm going to put a CB aerial on it because it's because it adds to the looks a lot. And I'd like to know, where do you think I should put it? I was thinking of maybe putting it on one of the beacon brackets or somewhere like that. Because I know a lot of people put it on the wing mirror brackets, but mine are attached to the door. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So mine's attached to the door, so I can't really do that. So I'd like to know, like, because I can put it on the roof, I can put it front, back, middle, wherever. So like, I'm thinking of maybe putting it on this side, putting it in here, having it run up, and then run it around by the back of the reg plate, and then there's a fitting there. There's a fitting inside the cab to screw it into. Fucking hell. Is it fitting there to screw it into? So I was just thinking, where do you think I should put it? So yeah, uh, that's just what I wanted to know for the for the moment. And the situation with the light. So because it's a hold on. There we go. So because it's a 23 year old American light, it's hard to get. But I'm gonna see if I can get one because the old one is kind of falling apart on the inside. All the chrome reflective stuff on the bottom is after coming off. The rubber seal is after coming off, but I put Tech 7 on it. And it holds water. It, water gets into the seam there because it doesn't shut properly and it hazes up in here and then it goes yellow and it holds the water so you can't get it out and you can't drain it properly and it rots the connection so i'm gonna see if i can get a new one from the motor factors if they can get one in or if any of you know uh where i would get one if you would let me know because that would be great greatly appreciated So, yeah, that would be uh, appreciated. I'll just show it to you now. So, yeah, I'll just show it to you now and uh, improper. And if any of you know where to get one, tell me down in the comments below and uh, I'll get back to you because I kind of need two spotlights. It's uh, I don't want don't to only have the one. So, there it is there. It has got a slant on it. And then this bit moves, obviously it moves out like that, and then moves back in. So if any of you know where to get one, I can't actually find a brand or a part number anywhere on it. So if any of you know where to get one of them, let me know in the comments down below because I'd be interested in trying to get one. Well, I wouldn't be interested. I need to get one because that one is falling apart and is rotten. So yeah, <laughs> let me know uh, if you know where to get one. Tell it down in the comments because I'm kind of getting sick of only having the one light. It doesn't look right. And so yeah, let me know um, if you know in the comments down below because I need to get a new one. And we'll go and start the Navara now, so I'll cut to in the Navara because I have to go get the keys. Right, so 
got the keys. So now I'm going to, uh, I'm, I've decided what video this is going to be. This is going to be about the digger, because I haven't done a video on the digger yet. I said I would. That's a great sign. No fucking diesel. That's great. So, yeah, while we let that, uh, heat up and the alternator belt squeal like a pig um, we'll start going over this so it's our 3 ton Kubota mini digger I do not know what year um, it's old enough anyway um, so it has it's a 3 ton digger Fucking hell. <laughs> so it needs a bad it clean up badly, but it has two thousand three hundred and seventy seven hours, which is not a lot. The dash is down there. Someone left her up at max revs. So, I'll just let it cool up, heat up for a minute, and now I'll go and shut off the Navara, so I'll get back to you in a minute. Right, so, I have the Navara shut off, and uh, this has been idling for a couple of minutes now, so it can be shut off, because it'll have built up oil pressure. Right, so it maxes out at uh, 3,500 revs, but you'll never get it to that. Oh, my truck's in. So it has the rubber tracks, blade, the big boom arm, and we have a couple of buckets for it and a bale spike. So the biggest problem with this, I'll talk about the problem later. That I, uh, the biggest problem with it later. So we'll go around to the back here. Take the shovel off. We use the shovel to clean out the tracks to not get the barn covered in dirt, but that doesn't really work. So basically, it's a four cylinder engine. Um, it's not the easiest thing to work on because the injection pump is around there. So you have to get back here to try and get at the injector pump, which is just there. And there's the muffler. That then comes back through there. Goes back there and then comes out here and down. And that's with that hole there. This is the air filter here. So it sucks the air in from there. It runs it back in through there. That's just a joiner. Then it runs it into there, where it filters the air. And then it comes out back out through there and then goes into the intake so it's a water cooled engine so there's your rad uh, your fan belt your oil filter your starter your water pump i think i don't know it's covered in oil can't tell so the diggers leak a lot of oil obviously naturally because of just how hard they're worked now, even though ours doesn't have a lot of hours on it, it's been, where, it's been fairly looked after, but it still does leak oil naturally. So, it is a big four-cylinder engine with uh, probably 90 horsepower, maybe. Maybe. I do not know the exact amount. And because I don't know the model, I don't know the exact amount. So, your engine mount is just there. Your alternator on that. So, it's a, it's a decent engine. Now, it's... Absolute pain. You'd never want to airlock one of these because obviously the injection pump is on the other side to bleed it. So I just show you the cab. So there is a rubber mat. We took it out. I have no idea why. So it's got the same suspension as the tractors with the spring seat. So there's your window wiper motor, which your window wiper's there, it should be up there, but we took it down. So then you've your 
blade lever here up to pull it down down to push it up to push it down your hand throttle here as you don't really have a foot throttle so slow fast your emergency stop and your ignition your light switches back here then you have all your gauges here um you have your lever you do this and the bucket will tilt that way it'll tilt uh it'll tilt into you and you go the other way and it'll tilt out and you this push that up and it'll contract the main boom arm up to you and push it out and it'll push the main boom arm down this one you tilt it to the side it'll spin the whole digger around and you pull it this way it'll spin it around the other way pull that down I'll extend that smaller arm and pull it back and it'll bring it back to you um, so if you push the top of this here it'll focus on it I don't think it will so this allows you when you press that this light lights up and then that allows you to instead of tilting the cab focus it allows you to tilt the arm I have your window wiper here so window wiper on window wiper off and stop focusing on my hand and then you have your AC switch here. I don't know what used to be there. I do not know. And then you have your foot throttle kind of here. This just accelerates. It's like your accelerator. But that won't work unless you have these either pushed forward or pushed back. Back will obviously bring you back full speed. And both forward will bring you forward boat speed. One this way will apply the brake to this side. And will spin you. Will only power that track. So you'll go all the way to the right, and the other way, you'll go all the way to the left either way. This will spin you around that way, that will spin you around that way. So, then you also have ones, you flip these out, and then you can just operate it with your feet. It's a little bit harder to do, to pull it back. This is if you have a jackhammer, so you flip up that. And then if you have a jackhammer or a mouth on a bucket, it'll close it or open it or use the jackhammer. And then if you have this, this is your safety arm. So you have this up, even if it's just up like that, your hydraulics will not work. So it will not work if you have that up. So then if you're two big spots, I need a new one for there because that one's broken. Jesus Christ, what is wrong with me? So, then you have your hydraulic tank is here. So you fill it in through this go up here, or you just take the whole thing off. If your fuel tank is here, with your, uh, get your filler. Now here. So actually, it probably says what this is here. I don't know. It tells you, it'll say it somewhere what it is here. So, I imagine there used to be a fire extinguisher or something there. So there's your fuel filter. There. And there's another fuel filter. I believe. Yep. Would make sense. And there's your battery. And then there's the ram for that to tilt that to me or to, or away from me. So that's that in here needs to clean badly. Uh, no, it doesn't say exactly what it is, it just has a couple of models so so that's that and then you have your grease points for the cab tilt your grease points for that ram grease point there and up there for that ram one there for that ram and there for that ram then you have same here one there for that ram and one up there for that ram then you have one in there for the quick hitch here and then you can stick it in here it says grease nipple in there for the quick hitch here and on the other side so the biggest problem with this is obviously these are for the jackhammer or the bucket of the mouth of the bucket if you have one so there should be a shut off valve back there where the rubber pipe start, turns into the metal pipe but there's not or it's not working so these pipes over time they bend so they leak, they tear and they leak oil, which ours is doing. So if you notice the, a light on the dash was on, it's the sensor is, I think it's gone because it just, 
it leaks hydraulic oil, but we keep topping it up because uh, we don't have the time to get the pipe changed. And this pipe is going. When this pipe goes, we'll we'll replace the two of them. Um. So yeah, so that glass there can be pull pulled the two handles in, and you can put it up to the roof to get at there. Um. And then you can. There's a little lever back here and pull that and it unlocks the door to push the door back and there's your wing rear bracket that one is band jack so i need a new one and then there is your other one there so all in all it's a decent little rig um it's not bad it's it's perfect for what we need for what we use it for so we need new tracks we'll need new tracks soon and we were digging a trench and she was left outside for a couple of days and the rain washed all the bird shite off so yeah so yeah that's uh that's our Kubota three ton mini digger so yeah that's that so that's the end of the video so i'll see you next time